GarageBand for iOS has plenty of included piano instruments and synthesizers. Most of these instruments are accessed through the keyboard tool. In this video, we'll be covering how to use the keyboard in GarageBand iOS. Before continuing with this video, make sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series so you're all caught up. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can see all our new content as soon as it's released. Just like when working with drums, the keyboard is accessed through the Tracks button at the top. Let's start with the new Smart Piano. Like the drum instruments, we can press the triangle drop down in the top left to select different piano tones. We have options for keyboards, Alchemy Synth, Synth Classics, Synth Bass, Synth Leads, Synth Pads, Effects, and other. The Smart Piano View gives us 8 different chords with notes within them to choose from based on the key of the song that we're in. In the top left, we can turn sustain on and off. To use the Smart Tool keyboard, all we must do is touch some of the bass notes at the bottom which are displayed in grey, and touch any of the higher notes along the top for any combination of notes for a chord. To switch between the keyboard view and the Smart Keyboard view, press the button in the top right. From within the keyboard view, we have two arrow keys in the top left, and these are used to change the octave of the keyboard. To the right of that, we have the Sustain Lock tool which turns Sustain on or off for the keyboard. In the middle, we have a tool that allows us to switch between a static view for the keys and allows us to scroll and drag along the keyboard. To the right, we have three more tools. The leftmost tool is used to display the notes for a particular quarter scale only and remove the rest of the notes from our keyboard view. The middle one shows a stack of five notes going up and then back down, and this is for the arpeggiator to turn that on automatically. The last button changes us back to the Smart Keyboard view. The track settings for the keyboard gives us a few more options compared to drums. First, we get quantization like the drums to snap the notes to the timeline. Below that, we can transpose the notes we're inputting by an octave or a certain number of semitones. After that, we can change the velocity of the notes that we're recording. Finally, we have the option to merge our recordings or use multi-take recordings, which is used when we're looping to play only a few notes at once and combine them together. The options for creating different sounds with the keyboard layout and keyboard tracks in GarageBand iOS are pretty much limitless. This setup gives us over 300 different synthesized sounds to work with, so there's plenty of variety for any type of music you're looking to create, whether it's all acoustic instruments or completely electronic music. Once we're ready to capture our performance, all we have to do is press the record button at the top, wait for the count and to finish, and touch the notes on the screen to record them to our track as a clip.
Thanks for checking out this video on using the keyboard tracks in GarageBand iOS. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever new videos are released. You can also check out the links in the video description below for social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.